That should have been a Disney cast member. What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. It is time for a tutorial based around Disney. I am so excited because tomorrow I get on a plane in the morning to go to Disney for four days. I'm going with my mom and my best friend Erica from Coming Up Roses. If you don't know her, I'll link her site below as well. But we're all going to go and have an awesome time. I cannot wait to show you guys and recap it on my blog next week. Without further ado, I'm going to show you how to get this super easy and adorable Disney look. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Let me know what you think in the comments below if you want to see more cute stuff like this and like chatty get ready with chatty get ready with me's as well let me know in the comments below anyways if you guys want to see how to get this look please keep watching all right guys let's dive into this so i am going to be using my bh cosmetic glam reflection rosé palette for this disney tutorial um it's really beautiful i just got their whole collection in the mail yesterday so i couldn't wait to start using it Looks like this, so pretty. So, this is gonna be super easy and simple and I'm not gonna be using false lashes because when I'm in Disney, I'm probably not gonna wanna deal with lashes anyways. So, we're gonna be rocking our natural lashes. So, I don't think these have names, so I'll just point to them for you so you can find something similar. I've already done my face makeup and done my base shadow, so I am ready to go in with my transition shades. So I'm going to be going in with this shade right here, this center shade, as my transition. This eye is going to be super, super simple. So we're just going to get that transition shade right there. And then I'm going to go in with this dark brown shade right here. And I'm going to use this brush instead. Who's texting me? It's my mom. Hi, mom. We're going to get Manny Petties today. I'm going to go in with my finger, I'm going to take this shimmery pink shade right here and just put a little bit on my finger and get right here. And I'm going to take this little pencil brush with this bright white shade right at the top here. get my inner corner highlight. This was way brighter of a white than I anticipated. There's no going back now. Okay, so now we're gonna go back in with this round fluffy brush we used with that transition shade. I'm just going to kind of flip it underneath. This look really doesn't have, like, I don't, didn't want to do a crazy um, lower lash line shadow, so just a tiny bit. Alright. Stop scratching my Mickey ears. You're demon. I'm going to go in with my... Um, liner, my Styla Stay All Day Liquid Liner, and do a quick wing. That was supposed to be way skinnier than it was, so that's exciting. We gonna roll with it. So we're doing big wings today. You just 
wants to be part of the party. Do you want to just say hi while you're here? Well, that was supposed to be a small wing, so you may do that as well. I apparently didn't want a small wing, so it's not what we got. All right, so now we're gonna curl our lashes, and like I said, I'm not using false lashes, so I am using, however, three different mascaras. So I've got my UD Urban Decay Troublemaker Lash, Urban Decay Troublemaker Mascara, I have my Vega Lash Volumizing Mascara, and my Monsieur Big from Lancome. I use all of them. I wish I was doing lashes since my liner is bigger than my face. So I start off with my Monsieur Big, always. This formula doesn't dry super quickly, so I like to start with it so I can layer my other mascaras on it. And next I'm going in with my Troublemaker. In one of my first impressions video when I used this, I said I didn't really like it that much, but I'm a filthy liar because it turned into one of my favorite mascaras. Okay, now with my Vega Lash Volumizing Mascara, I'm going to do my bottom lashes. It's such a tiny little brush, it's perfect. It also separates my top lashes really nicely in case there are any clumps. That doesn't look terrible. Okay, so for lipstick, I'm going to be going in with my Sephora Cream Lip Stain, and it's their bright red. I'm going to have to find the exact name for you, but the number is 01. It does have a name. I don't know what it is. Okay, so kind of go ham on that overlining if you want. So this would be like my finished um, Disney World makeup, and now I'm going to kind of show you how to put these ears on without looking like a fool, but I'm going to back the camera up just a little bit and hop right back on. I am back. Welcome. My cat took my seat while I was gone, so now he gets to move and say hi to the camera again. Hi, Chesky. I think that's you. Clearly loves me so much. Okay. Now I'm going to kind of show you how to put your ears on without looking like your hair is all slicked back and gross, essentially. Um, so if there's a little tag, you can cut it off, or you can be like me and ignore it. And who is at my door? <laughs> Guys, I got so many packages! <laughs> They're full of special effects makeup because I'm the head makeup artist for a big production of Shrek the Musical. And I'm so excited, I can't wait to open it and see all the things inside. Um, anyways, going back to our ears. So you can kind of tuck this tag in or cut it off like normal people would do. I'm not gonna do it, can't make me. And so basically you're gonna want to part your hair. So make sure you've got a good section of hair in front of your ears. And then you're going to take your Mickey ears and secure them right behind your ears. Just like this. <laughs> Adorable. So then you're going to need... Oh no. I'm going to get a manicure today and that's a good thing because I keep snagging my dang nails. Okay. So I have two bobby pins here. You're going to need one for either side of your head. So I'm going to kind of take this and secure it around that ear. So 
just gonna tuck that there. You can kind of put some hair over that if you'd like. And then I'm gonna take this side. You can kind of shake that out. And that is my favorite way to wear my Mickey ears. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video and thought that this is a cute way to wear your ears and do your makeup for Disney. This was more of a fun, chatty, get ready with me video. I just happened to be going to Disney, so... I made it Disney themed, but hopefully you enjoyed that tutorial. Super easy and simple. Everybody can do it, and I know you have the colors to get it done, so you don't have to use that palette, but if you are looking to pick up a new palette, all of the Glam Reflection palettes from BH Cosmetics are bomb. They have Rosé, La Amour, and Smoky, I believe, and they're fabulous. I'll link them all below because you need to buy all of them, most likely. Um, anyways, guys, I hope that you have an awesome rest of your week. Stay tuned by, on my Instagram at Blind and Ambitious Blog to watch my Disney adventures if you're interested. And you can also head over to my blog, blindandambitiousblog.com, to see how I packed for the vacation and some other Disney recaps next week. So I will be sure to chat with you guys later and um, have an awesome rest of your weekend. Bye, guys!